My name is Ali Sherbes, and I've been working on granular materials for my thesis. As we know, they can be found everywhere on Earth, and they behave in many different ways. So, for instance, they can behave like solids, so a person can stand on top of them without sinking. They can also behave like fluids and be used in so many interesting ways, like, for instance, to do some glasses. They can also behave like gas, and we have these sandstorms that affect many populations around the world. And they are really fundamental for some cosmic events. They are part of rings surrounding some planets. Or, for instance, NASA now is going, uh, trying to go to Mars and explore its surface, and is using rovers to do it. And in 2009, um, a spirit got stuck in Martian sand. Since then, uh, understanding the behavior of sand-like materials or granular materials has become very important for NASA. So what I do is I try to link the grain-to-grain -grain level to the macroscopic, to the bulk behavior of these kind of materials. So at the micro level or grain-to-grain -grain level, we have these grains interacting among them with contact forces. They exert force on each other. They also have interparticle friction. And they change in shape from grain to grain. So particle morphology, which is a study of shape, is important also for a strength build-up. So at the grain scale, we have all these ingredients, contact forces, interparticle friction, the, the shape of the grains, that all of them contribute for the macroscopic behavior, for a, for a given macroscopic behavior of these materials. So I've been trying to link the grain-to-grain -grain behavior, all these properties, to the macroscopic behavior of the granular materials. How? Uh, by developing some analytical expressions that directly connect the macroscopic strength to the grain-to-grain -grain interactions. And also I've been using uh, some numerical methods and developing some numerical methods. So we can study this and, simu and run simulations on the computer to better understand these materials. In, for instance, we have this uh, sample of real sand that then we take these 3D X-ray images which we turn into numerical avatars or computational avatars using a mathematical methods. And then we run these uh, uh, numerical or computational avatars, grains, uh, to study shape, and the interparticle contact forces and the effects of this on the uh, macroscopic scale. 